What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life of Poetry and my hood booger look on. Um, it is Travel and Talk Tuesday. Y'all about to ride to work with me? Ah, I get myself situated and uh, just talk for a minute. For those of you who watched my other video the other day, the T-bone is still on my front porch. Uh, I will pull the camera off to let y'all see it. I did a whole nother video so y'all can see the T-bone still there, but I didn't put it up, which I have to get into a habit of doing. So, I just realized my charcoal is on the seat today. Last week, Bone Jones told me that I need to get that dog on case of water off the back of my seat. <laughs> I, uh, I drink a case of water a week. I usually try to do at least six bottles of water a day. Sometimes I don't make it. Sometimes Keena have to help me finish that case. But yeah, I try to aim for six bottles of water a day. So the bottle the case of water is always on my back seat. It's on the back seat right now. You just can't see it. I have, uh, I think my jacket is, other jacket is on top of it. Um. So yeah, the T-bone is still on my porch. I did all my research. I asked all my peoples. Nobody has any idea other than somebody must be fucking with me. Or why a goddamn T-bone ended up on my porch. I was thinking that maybe an animal had left it at first. Um, yeah. Why I ruled out an animal is because it's now two or three days later and it's still there. If an animal left that bone or the animal would have came back and got that bone in my opinion. So I think somebody was fucking with me. <laughs> but of all the uh, rituals that I've bred up on chicken bones is the main bones that they use or they use a variation of different animal bones just a regular old t-bone that look like they already ate the steak and they burnt the tip of it it's um yeah i can't find nothing on that so i had forgot about it this second afternoon that i went out there that morning i was really cognizant of it but that second afternoon i went out and i crossed the threshold and i was like fuck it i don't get it now so i still just haven't taken it down yet um, I still don't want to touch it <laughs> in case I'm wrong, but yeah. So let me give y'all a little uppy daddy on what's going on in my life, my life, my life. So if you watch my recaps and reviews, y'all know Damn Nation TV got canceled. So I'm looking for new shows to watch and review. Um, one of the reviews gave Badu gave me Badu, Badu, gave me um an idea to review black movies and I said that I didn't want to do black movies because of how judgmental and how critical of movies I am and I didn't want to be the one that's just doing reviews turn down black movies um this motherfucker is close like did he not realize that we was all stopped already so, but, I don't know. I guess I'm going to do it. So, I am watching Mudbound right now. I started watching it this morning. I didn't get far. For, right now, I'm telling you, this is how far I got. I turned on Mudbound. You hear the dude shoveling something, and then the picture come on, and you see two guys out there, and one guy's down in the ditch. That's as far as I made it so far. So, I'm going I'm to finish watching it later today. We don't have This Is Us tonight. They're not going to show it until Super Bowl Sunday. And I don't know if my This Is Us viewers realize this, they are gonna, they push the episode to Super Bowl Sunday. Which I was like, why is it on Super Bowl Sunday? You know, because it normally comes on Tuesday night. Jack died on Super Bowl Sunday. So they want to give us the same emotion that the family has on the day of the Super Bowl. Like, how the fuck do you do that to your viewers? That's awesome. It's, that's awesome cinematic shit to me right there. So, yeah. So I'll be able to do probably Mudbound. Um, that probably go up tomorrow along with my America's Next Top Model recap and review will probably go up tomorrow. Uh, Love and Hip Hop Miami will go up today. I haven't watched it yet. Um, but Proud Mary. I'm going to do a full recap or review on Proud Mary. Um, I didn't like the movie. Kena loved it though. But I I'm going to have to really like sit down with my boys and find out what she loved about it. Um, 
because from what I can see, the action scenes were cool, I thought. But the best part of the movie is when the, the final big fight scene, final big shootout, and they were playing the song Proud Mary and Tina Turner. Um, or was it the I Gates at the time? It's Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, that is the best part of the movie. And I think it was became the best part of the movie because of the added song. Because everybody was in there like dancing and rolling down the river and all that to the song. Keena and some old man was straight gigging out the theater like as the song was playing. He had his little cane. And he had his little two-step. He was going. And Keena was in the background like that. They was getting it. They was getting it coming out the theater. So, I wonder if that is what she thought was the most exciting part. Or did she really like the storyline and everything else that happened. Um, but when I do the full recap on it. Hi, am I gonna do that tomorrow? Maybe I should do that tomorrow and do Mudbound next week. Hmm. Just a thought. I'm gonna do Proud Mary tomorrow and do Mudbound next week. That'll give me a whole week to finish watching Mudbound. Uh, because I got so much other stuff to do. I have been like really neglecting life. Like real talk. I've been exhausted. Exhausted. I've been exhausted. That's how Fallen Jones, I think, was like, exhausted. <laughs> I've been exhausted, y'all. And. I don't know. I think it's because I know this often hit a TMI subject. Most men might cringe, but I have not had a damn menstrual cycle since November. I was getting all the signs. Like, I get pregnancy symptoms when I come on. Like, I, I get th thrown up. Like, I'm going, going through morning sickness. I get those symptoms and stuff like that. Um, But nothing. I think I spotted one day and then nothing happened. And then January rolled through. Shit about to be January about to be over. I think tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow January about to be over. Nothing. And I shouldn't have been had a cycle. So I think it may be part of my exhaustion. Like normally cycles make people exhausted. I'm truly almost y'all. I'm like the anytime they say like two percent of people do this, I always fall into that two percent. So I'm thinking maybe that's why I'm so exhausted because I have not. My body has not expelled. You know. Like it normally do. And I don't know. Maybe I'm going through menopause shit. I'm young. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> but I started my menstrual cycle when I was nine. So, you know, my eggs might be gone. Which that kills my dreams of having another baby. I said I was going to get my Janet Jackson and my Holly Berry on and have another baby when I turn 50. But shit, if, if I'm already starting to go through menopause, I don't know how this shit work. I thought people still, you know, have cycles. I know my mom's friend, she shit, she went through, she was going through menopause for almost 10 years and got pregnant during her menopausal stage. So, fuck, I don't know that. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe it's just my weight gain. Um, Y'all remember on my vision board, I said that I was going to like really focus on getting my weight back together. And the next day I got out there and I did the damn thing, y'all. I was doing it and I ain't did shit else. <laughs> and that's one thing about a vision board or right now goals or whatever. I'm looking at them daily, but I have to still be able to put forth action to get it done. And I haven't been doing it. So I started again this week working on those goals. So like I say, the only thing I've been keeping up is my hydration. Y'all like this lip color? This is gorgeous, ain't it? I don't even like lipstick that much. I love lip glosses. But this right here is Kina's. Oh my God, it's so subtle and so pretty. She got it free from Sephora. It's one of her free gifts. It's called Chai, C-H-A-I. And it's by a company called Bite, B-I-T-E. Oh my God, it goes on so soft and smooth. My lips feel so moisturized. It's such a pretty soft color. I put on like three layers of it. I didn't realize that. It's like when I look at myself for real, for real, I don't know what it looks like to y'all. It's really almost like a nude color. But now I'm looking at it on camera, it's like, damn, maybe like... Um, color darkens as time goes on as my body temperature heats it up or something um, why the fuck are you on my ass like that bitch we gonna slow the fuck down we gonna slow the fuck down that's what we gonna play we gonna play this this morning I got time today I left work for 15 minutes early I got time today get the fuck off my ass stupid ass I, t I, will, park my I will park on the fucking highway I swear to goodness I will 
all these extra damn lanes over here. You want to ride up on my ass. Better get your ass on. I don't play musical lanes for people. I don't do that. Especially if I'm already in the fucking slow lane. Take your ass around. Don't be riding up on my damn bumper. <sighs> what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Weight loss. I haven't had any weight loss. So that's probably why my cycle came because I'm steady gaining weight. I am now 202 pounds. 201.7. 202 damn pounds. That's basically what I am. So yeah, I'm steady gaining weight and I gotta get this shit together. Fat don't look cute on me. I, I'm, I'm a cute and I'm a sexy person, but the fat around the midsection and all, I'm carrying all my weight for the most part in my midsection. Um, oh, I did some live sessions, right? Um, I said I was gonna try my PNTV live, and I said I was gonna try. Um, I was gonna do the grown folk session. I was gonna do that live. Um, although live sessions can be fun, usually they're fun for me when I'm in somebody else's chat. But it's hard for me sometimes to keep up with the chat that's going on, and I like to be in on the conversation. So, um, I know I could slow people's chats down to a 60 second delay, but then they looking like, why the fuck I can't put nothing up here? You know, people want to talk. So I didn't want to slow it down um, so I could read it. So the PNTV live session, I don't think that I'm going to do that live anymore. And the reason why is because I like to get to the topics that I'm going to talk about and just get it done. And with live, you get hung up on one topic for a long time. And, and I'm trying to like move the conversation through, but it doesn't, you know, when new people come in, they, they going through the chat themselves, they ask me questions about stuff that we already discussed. So it's kind of hard to like maintain that and it kind of disrupts the natural flow of my of PNTVs. PNTVs, if you don't know, is Poetry's News and Twisted Views. Where I basically just get my opinions on stuff that's happening in the news, the blogs, uh, bus trending, stuff like that. So, you know. It's the typical shit that every black channel on YouTube pretty much do. <laughs> um, but, and it's, so it's not that I don't want to, um, now I, did, I do think that we had some hearty conversations and some good debates about the subject matters that we did cover. I had so much crap to talk about and I like to keep PNTV, I like to like cram shit in in 20 minutes with PNTV. And that went like an hour and then people were coming in at the end and was like, hey, you feel late? I am also one of the people that like, even though I go to work late, damn near every day, I like to start shit on time. If it's like an event, and I consider a live session an event for me. So like, don't tell me your event started at eight and at 8.15, you still ain't on. So I'm the person that's like, I say it's gonna start at six. I'm starting at six. So I start talking if ain't nobody in the chat, which yeah, it's kind of weird. Cause then everybody like, what the fuck you talking about? And they come in the room and they be the only one there like, ain't nobody else who she talking to. I start at six. I log on, try to log, I try to log on at least five minutes before the live session. And then at six, bam, it's happening. So I don't think I'm going to do PNTV live again. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Um, but the grown folks session that we had on Friday night, I had a blast with that. Uh, one of the glitches a few of the glitches that happened, let me tell you. Um, it took me longer to get to Mocha House than I thought. Normally it would take me like 20 minutes to get to her house. It took me over a half hour to get to her house that night. I left my house at 7.15. I got to her house at 7.47. Then I still had to bring like the uh, the lights and the camera equipment and everything in. I don't know why I did that because she's a damn photographer. I could have just snatched her damn tripod and her lights and shit. Maybe because I already got my stuff set at a certain level and I know exactly how high and everything I want it to be. Then, um, so... And then in the middle, Mocha got a phone call and she left out of the session and never came back. And the whole point was the, like to talk to the authors on day one. Um, first I was like, you know, Mocha's the business call. And then I realized when I watched the whole session back, because I watched it back, she answered the phone and said, hey, this is Mocha. Okay, we know that that's not her real fucking name either. That's a nickname, a pseudonym or what have you. So I'm like, that was no business call, that was a first call. But somewhere during, the, during that, she actually did take a business call, which made her not been able to come back. And she came up to the room. No, when she came up in the room again, um, it was after the session was over, after I ended it, because I was gonna try to go for an hour and a half. But yeah, I went for an hour. And when she came back, it was over, she was done. And then she immediately took the business call right after that. So 
And hell, I think when I was leaving the house, she was still on the call. So, like, she's like just got a new job. She's the, the director of a new position. So, you know, she's trying to handle her staff. I understand. But that wasn't how um, I had originally planned it. Uh, yeah, we got to some interesting topics on grown on the grown folks session, baby. So I enjoyed that. So I'm gonna do that again live on Friday. That's gonna come back at eight o'clock Central Time, which is for Phone Jones nine o'clock. <laughs> That's an inside joke between me and her. Nine o'clock Eastern Time, six o'clock Pacific Time. So if you still want to get to the club on Friday night, get to the club after it's over with. But um, I think this week's subject matter is going to be pubic health, and it's gonna—I think it's gonna get interesting. And this is not just for women, you know. Men have a pubic region too, which is sweaty ass balls. We're gonna talk about some stuff that uh, from latex infections and people excuses people give for not wanting to wear condoms. Um, Spermicidal gels, funky spunk from some dudes, uh, fishing. Yeah, we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, grown folk session is about sex, so to speak. It's sexual topics, um, but it's about the good, the and the bad. It ain't just about what makes us feel good. Like I said, we got to a whole discussion about um, porn and one of the uh, viewers i'm not going to say her name now but if you was in the chat you know who was talking about um we was talking about the conflicts that she has in her marriage as far as porn is existing and i think i think we kind of without like really trying to be therapists for her, actually gave her some sound advice that helped her out um because i'm not a therapist mocha not a therapist and this week is gonna i'm gonna be by myself um my mother's going to join one of the sessions. She might join this week. And the reason why I wanted my mama to join one of the sessions, because that's one of the things that I think that we do not do as family members is talk about these type of issues with our parents. Kena's always in on our sex talk. I'm going to tell you right now. I told when we was down in Orlando, we had a whole discussion on, on boobies. And I'm going to think for, had a fish fry in my house. It turned into a whole conversation about dildos. <laughs> Just, you know, it's some things that I love the fact that I'm able to have conversation with my daughter to the, and she's not uncomfortable. So if something should happen to her or if she had issues that she wanted to talk to me about, she feels comfortable enough that she know that I can come to her. She can come to me and I'm not going to be judging her. We can't really have a heart to heart conversation. We can have a light hearted conversation and get some laughs out of it. So I love that fact. And um, I don't think that I really necessar necessarily had it with my mother when I was super, super young. But around when I got uh, 12 years old, and the first time my mom asked me, did I know anything about sex? And I was like, yeah, that, that kicked off our conversation. Um, and then mainly because one of my friends was uh, doing a damn thing a little bit too much. And I'm going to bring it up Friday. Um, after I let her know that I'm really talking about her, she wants the channel because her internet's down, but she may one day. I'm not gonna mention her name, but um, uh, in some situations that happened when we were super young, that she had to go to my mother to talk about, and it's dealing with pubic health. So I think that this is gonna be a good topic on Friday. I hope y'all join in. I am at work, I need to come in here and get my job done, get the heck out of here. I told y'all uh, last week my boss quit. My, well, one of the supervisors she quit. Child, she done came back. <laughs> she done came back up in the building, baby. I was getting all kind of inspiration and hope. Like, hey, my girl did the doggone thing. Gave me inspiration. And she walked back in here and I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, I'm at work. Thank y'all for riding to work with me. Uh, like, comment, share. Always subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before. I am still trying to reach that thousand subscribers. Peace.